Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video that the Windows 11 22H2's Moment 2 update was causing SSD performance issues. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Now, once again, unfortunately, um, it seems that due to user feedback and reports that are now doing the rounds online, that um, there seems to be uh, issues with SSD performance once again after installing the latest Windows 11 Patch Tuesday updates for April of this year, 2023. So if we head over to Windows Update, uh, for Windows 11 22H2, the update was KB5025239. And for Windows 11 21H2, that update was KB5025224. And I did post on both of those updates, and I'll also leave links down below to those videos. Now, um, the main... Um, Complaints are regarding SSD performance issues that are causing slower boot times and also just slower system performance in general. So navigating around the actual operating system since installing uh, the Windows 11 um, April uh, cumulative updates for both uh, Windows 11 22H2 and 21H2, uh, it seems that there's just in general slower um, system performance but mainly slower boot times. Now, I have also seen one or two comments on this channel from viewers who have also asked the question since upgrading recently, um, are um, users experiencing um, SSD issues or uh, SSD uh, performance issues? So obviously this is now an issue that's raising its head. And uh, um, I must be honest, I recently upgraded uh, this machine to an NVMe SSD a solid state drive. And um, since updating, I haven't actually noticed any slower performance per se, but one thing I have noticed since updating recently was when I open the File Explorer, you'll see a flashbang, a white flashbang, which wasn't there prior to updating recently to the latest uh, Windows 11 22H2 Patch Tuesday cumulative update for April. So that's the only thing I have noticed, which, I mean, we could consider that to be a performance issue, but nonetheless, that's the only thing I have noticed that and um, when it comes to the update that is kind of different and wrong with my system after updating. Now at this stage, um, there is no fix from Microsoft. Um, um, as far as I know regarding this, these latest issues with these April uh, Patch Tuesday updates, Microsoft hasn't confirmed this and it isn't a known issue. And uh, obviously um, the resolution and the workaround would be to uninstall the update, which isn't suggested because um, there were impor important security fixes that did roll out. But if the negatives are outweighing the positives, then you would have to uninstall the update. And how you can do this is um, on your Windows Update History page, just click on Uninstall Updates, and you'll find uh, the update. And here's the update, KB5025239. And for Windows 21H2, that would be 5025224. You click on Uninstall, follow the prompts, and uninstall the update. And uh, um, you would have to restart your device to um, obviously complete that installation, that uh, um, uninstallation, sorry. And then what I would suggest, though, um, after you uninstall um, the update is because it is a compulsory, mandatory, automatic update, it will just want to reinstall itself automatically again. So then you would have to come back to your Windows Update page. And then I would um, recommend pausing updates for a certain period of time until Microsoft rolls out a fix or until the next updates do roll out. And obviously, um, if there is um, any more news or any more reports that are coming in or Microsoft does make this a known issue or rolls out a fix, I will obviously post and let you know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.